Sunday morning, everybody. So, okay. afternoon, rather. Wildcats are going to lose because Amy's not. Tom, Tom reckons the again. Wildcats are going to lose because we're not staying at home to watch the game. And I said, well, we were there on Friday night cheering them on. It's because I wore a different top of And they, they lost because badly. Because Tom thinks because he wore a different shirt to what he normally wears, that's why they lost. That's my lucky Wildcats shirt. We were originally going to go to Ikea today, but the thing is, as much as I would love to go and shop at Ikea, we just don't have anywhere to store the furniture if we buy any. So we decided that there's no point in travelling like almost an hour with traffic to, you know, when we can't really buy anything, if that makes sense. So we're just going to have to wait closer to the time, like when there's only a few weeks left before our house is going to be like, you know, till we get the keys because then I don't think my parents would mind us shoving a load of furniture at the house if it's only a few weeks, but if it's like months and months and months, I think. Sure, you can get the Ikea stuff in the rooms. What, like you can choose when you want it to be delivered? Hmm, could do that. Anyway, we decided to go to Coogee Beach instead. We love not, like, we used to go to like the Coogee, like, um, like that Joan Cafe. We haven't been there in ages, but I think we're actually going to the beach beach this time. And I'm wearing the pants that I'll show you them. So, they are, they've got quite a big grip on the knees, but they're kind of like mom jeans. So they're quite baggy. They're not like too, super tight. And I have my other jeans that are like this, except those ones, like they used to be like this, but because I've gained so much weight now, they, they're like tight jeans now. They're not like mom jeans. So I had to buy like a new pair that was a few sizes bigger than those ones. Oh, and I've got my with the slides on. Which I know I need to do my toenails, they're horrendous, but yeah. And I bought a second pair of shoes, my Converse, just in case that I don't want to wear these ones in a bit. On our way, nice relaxing Sunday. That'd be the reason why we can't have a car. Oh, I know it's weird seeing in my being in my car with. My dressing gown. Ooh. Don't know why I didn't just get in at the driver's side. <laughs> Make my life so much more complicated than it has to be. A couple weeks ago, maybe like actually a month ago, I bought this and basically it's to put your phone on in the car, but it doesn't stay in my vents. Excuse me, so every time I go around a roundabout or a corner, it just flies off. So, oh goodness me, I bought the pop socket holder that's meant for your car and a new pop socket and I brought <laughs> my big medical scissors so I can cut these open I just don't know if it's gonna actually work and how I'm gonna stick the pop socket on here it doesn't really give you very clear instructions on how to do it either okay has a little instruction theme of like oops what have I just dropped I like it when it gives you more of other sticky bits like you know here we go so it's wait up to eight hours before using it. That's why I decided to do it now. I'm just trying to figure out where's the best place for me to stick it to. Because I don't really have, you know, a very flat area anywhere. I'm trying to think where's the best place. Maybe down here somewhere. Let me show you guys what I've got to work with. Like none of this is really flat. It's a shame that this isn't flat because I don't think it's going to stick very well. Don't think it's going to stick very well in here. I'm thinking of sticking it onto the side. So like down here so annoying guys i literally just realized that the pop socket that i bought doesn't have a base to it because you meant to basically be able to swap it out with the one you already have i do have a pop socket but i don't know where i've put it i think it's in the house somewhere so i might have to go and get it I found my own old, old phone case so i'm gonna see if i can try and switch this out i just don't know how actually i kind of have an idea of where i could put it i'm gonna put it here guys on the actual screen of my stereo no, I'll try to stick it here first, and if it doesn't stick there, then we'll go there as a backup. Okay, I've stuck it onto here for now. And that's the only place it's generally going to go. Um, I only need the knob to change it, the volume. I don't really need to see what's on the screen. Um, and then you can change here to like Bluetooth, CD, or aux cord. But it's always set to aux for my phone, so I'm going to leave it overnight, and we'll see what happens tomorrow. 
Okay. Hey guys, so I didn't really vlog much. Well, I don't think, think I vlogged since we went out earlier. Um, I'm about to head to bed. It's Sunday evening still. Um, no, it's not. It's Monday morning. Oh, is it past midnight? Well, it's now early Monday morning. But I wanted to ask you guys, because I want to do my nails at some point later this week. And now that I'm... Be careful, you need to start off the foot. I was nowhere near your foot. Don't be so dramatic. Um, yeah, I want to do my nails at some point later on this week. Um, but now that I'm doing my nails at home, basically, you guys get to pick the colours. I'm going to lay out the different ones that I've got. Okay, so not including this one, in case you guys are wondering, the one I've got on at the moment is called uh, Baby Doll Pink. So, yeah, and that's like two coats. So it's not quite clear, it gives like a little bit of a pinky colour, but if you wanted it to be more intense, you could probably put more layers on. But we've got a nudie brown. This is navy, even though it looks yeah. black. Coral, light purple, uh, like a maroony colour, white. Uh, yellow and pretty sure, pretty sure that's black so let me know out of these which one you think I should do yeah let me know what you think or com if you think a combination of colours might look good like white with like maybe purple on one of the fingers or black and I don't know you guys let me know in the comments down below about to head bit now guys so I will see you in the morning sorry it's loud guys it's so hot today probably shouldn't be wearing jeans but I am so, time to test out my little thing. I don't know if I have to open it for it to work. Yeah, I do. So far, so good. I don't want to say anything yet because it has to survive till I get to my mum's, which is about a half an hour trip. With lots of roundabouts and lots of turns. Like, there's literally a roundabout like right next to my house, like right there. Here it is. So, we shall see. Guys, my phone made it the whole time without falling off. I'm proud of my little pop socket. So today I'm hanging out with my sister. I've just arrived at my mom's. I'm just gonna go and pick her up. I'm gonna go shopping. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, guys. So I haven't really vlogged much since I arrived at mom's. <laughs> oh my god. Ellie's cold, so she's put on a massive shirt that she bought. We bought it earlier. I think if you hide the white, it's fine. And then took it into your skirt. Also guys, we have travelled from like where we live to Rockingham, which is like a 40 minute drive. I reckon probably more. more. Honestly, I think that we've spent probably like an hour and a half all up for sushi. Literally. We drove all the way here just to get sushi because like the sushi place that we wanted to go to was closed and it didn't open till half five. And it's literally now like five o'clock. We could have just like waited. We're getting katsu chicken and avocado sushi and I'm so excited. They're making it fresh as well. So. Oh, you can see it being made. Let me see if I can zoom in. You guys can't really see, but there's like two sushi rolls like laid out. Well, four actually, because we, we got two each and I figured whatever we don't, I don't need, we could just take them. Guys, this looks amazing. Oh my god. I'd be really disappointed if this isn't as good as what you think it's going to be. Well. Is it as good as the other one? Better? Um, oh, could be better. I don't know. The lettuce is kind of throwing me off, but it tastes pretty good. Oh, my days. Hey guys, so I haven't really vlogged since we got home. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I got tomorrow. I really didn't get much. I literally just got like one top. But it's really funny, so I'll show you tomorrow. And I hope I remember because I usually say that, that I'm gonna show you guys things and I forget. <laughs> Um, I also got some Krispy Kreme donuts on the way home, um, so I'll show you the ones that I picked, but I'll show you tomorrow. So anyway, I'm going to do a little bit of editing, then head to bed, and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. So it is Tuesday morning. Just at my doctor's. I'm like 10 minutes early. I literally always arrive exactly 10 minutes early, but I never leave 10 minutes late because I'm like, what if I get stuck at every set of lights? Then I would need that extra 10 minutes. Oh, this is the top that I was talking about yesterday. So if you guys know like the North Face logo, this is what it looks like. And instead of saying the North Face, it says in your face. <laughs> and I just thought it was really funny. So, um, yeah. So anyway, I'm at my doctor's. I mainly need prescriptions, but I've been having temperatures the last few nights. It hasn't gone over 38, but it's gone up to like 37.9, which is for me a temperature because my normal temperature sits between 36 and 36.5. <clears throat> so that's like, um, like a degree and a half. 
higher than my normal temperature. It has, it has to be 38 for 24 hours before we draw cultures for my line, but my line looks good. It looks a little bit red in the middle, but it always looks a little bit red in the middle. Like that's no, like that's not like new or anything. So I'm not, I'm not worried about it being like a line issue. I don't feel too bad. I don't feel like I'm really unwell or anything. I've had like a little bit of a sniffle, bit of a sore throat, like a little bit, but not anything crazy. Like I feel pretty all right. So I'm not, I don't think it was really anything to worry about, but I'm just gonna mention it while I'm here. I have been have, getting some pain in my tube though, my feeding tube, and it's been bleeding a lot more than it normally does as well. I keep getting like stabbing pains right where it is and inside, so maybe it's like a tube infection, but it doesn't look too bad. Like the actual site around the tube doesn't look too bad, like it's not overly red or anything, but it is like oozing weird stuff, so I don't know. Maybe it's like an infection underneath the skin. I, I give up with my body. But, so there's a few little things I want to mention, um, but mostly I've just come to get scripts. And then on my way home, I am going to go pick up, well, I'm going to go see if there's anything at my PO box, because I have noticed a couple comments recently telling me to check it, so I shall check. I do have quite a few packages that have been sitting there for like oh, well over a month, like maybe like two months that I haven't opened yet that I kept meaning to open, so maybe I'll film a P.O. Box video like this week at some point. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. Um, Alright, I suppose I should go in then. Because sometimes my doctor's running early, so if she is, then she might see me quicker. So, yeah. Hey guys, so I look rough. But, oh, excuse me. So I was going to show you these Krispy Kreme donuts, like, when I got them yesterday, but... Did I vlog in the car with Ellie? Like, I can't even remember. I don't think I did. Don't mind my massive bloated stomach, but we're just gonna hide that the best we can. Like, you know how you can get like the double dozen or whatever? Um, except they don't call it that here. I don't know what they call it, but everyone's eating pretty much all of the original glazed, which are probably my favorites. I just feel like I could eat like a whole thing of them. They're drainable, so it's like a food I can have. Also, if I look like I've gained weight, like I have, I don't know what's going on with my body, but I think it could be the implant on because my TPN is quite low calorie now. Like it's like 990 something calories my, for like the entire two liters, which seems quite low, but I've not been losing weight, like I've just been, I've gained weight if anything, which is really kind of annoying because I was trying to get back down to between to 53 to 55 kilos, but we're kind of sitting up the high 50s at the moment and I really don't want to go over like 60. I would not be happy yet. I'm, I'm, I'm uncomfortable at the weight I'm at now, like everything's a bit too tired, a bit too uncomfortable, but what can you do? I don't have control over it, so. Back to the donut situation. What we have left, my good friends, is my favorite. Pretty much the, all the ones I picked in here were pretty much ones that Tom liked. That's like Nutella and something else. That is uh, cookies and cream, which is personally my favorite. That was like a Halloween-y one. I got like two of them, but Tom ate one. Uh, Another, if you can hear an alarm going off, it's Tom's. He doesn't want to get up from his nap. Um, that's like a custard filled one with like a chocolate glaze. That is like a golden gay time, like Australian one. That's like an ice cream, I'm pretty sure. Golden gay time. No, I had one like when I was younger, but I don't really remember. So <laughs> don't really know what that tastes like. And that's the Simpsons. They're just like original glazed ones with like extra icing and sprinkles. Um, but yeah. And shout out to my shout out to my pharmacist is what I was gonna say because he gave me on Dan's he gave me the on Danzatron wafers when I was prescribed the tablets instead of the wafers by accident and then he was oh it's fine like because I went to my doctor's today and I got her to write um, like a new prescription with like the wafers and then I said to her, like my like my 
pharmacy guy and I was like, oh, like, I got a new prescription because last time like, I got the tablets and I don't think it was your fault. Like, like, I just think my doctor like miswrote the prescription. That's basically what happened. Like, every now and then she forgets the, about the whole wafer thing <laughs> and she'll write me tablets. Anyway, and he was like, oh, it's fine. We'll just use the old prescription. I'll just give you the wafers anyway. Like, you're paying for it. Like, you know, so the government don't really care <laughs> as long as you're paying for it because like those ones are not covered. Like, that's a private script because... You can't get on Dan's on like the public system. It's complicated, but yeah, you can't get it basically. Anyway, I got a bunch of my prescriptions, so I'm gonna sort out this room a bit. And then set up my TPN. Also, I did manage to go to my PO box earlier. I don't think I vlogged, but I did. So I'm gonna try and film a video at some point later on this week. And I'm really excited for this one. Oh, it's from England, but I don't know who it's from. But it does say on there, Harry Potter book plus letter. So I'm really excited to see like what book this is. I seriously need to brush my hair and sort myself out because I look ridiculous. You guys can go and harass Tom on social media. No, because can you start he. That again, please. Why were well, your boobs on show? Yes. Can you start that again? Okay, ready. Take two. I'm just ahead. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you saw me for a year and a half. We FaceTimed for like a year and a half straight before Tom came to Australia and it was literally just FaceTime every day just ahead on a screen. It wasn't just ahead. Obviously, but like it was just like a face like this. And my abs. Oh yeah, those abs <laughs> that you've never had. Mm, I have abs, they're just hidden. <laughs> Behind a layer of fat. They're waiting to come out one day. <laughs> Put it this way, if you get stabbed, you're going to be protected by that layer of fat, so... Actually, to be fair, I'd probably be more protected if I had muscle there instead. Yeah, it'd probably be harder to cut through. <laughs> Anywho. Anyway, guys. So, if you enjoyed this vlog, please do give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. I'm trying to upload every two to three days on my vlog channel, so hopefully I'm keeping that consistent. You're going to say goodnight. No, because I'm trying to find the things that make you too late now the vlog's ending no so on the contrary to what you guys might think tom has actually got things to make you go hmm but still going to harass him so he keeps it up so without further ado welcome to another episode of things to make you go <laughs> <laughs> where did you even come i literally looked over in the viewfinder and there was just nothing there where did you come from the depths of the covers <laughs> the head has appeared <laughs> Two babies born at the same time but on different sides of the world could mean that they have a different birthday. Things that make you go, hmm. I don't get that, how? Well, because if it's... Already past midnight. Yes, yeah, so if it was like one o'clock here and oh, yeah, yeah, I was I'm born yeah. Yeah, and... <laughs> From the covers, just the head. <laughs> and then someone in England was born at one o'clock WA time in England they would have been born at like yesterday. Seven I, I, seven, I get what you're trying to say. Six yeah. In London time. Well, damn, eh? Hmm. Hmm. And he's gone. He's 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 sunk back into his little burrow. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's a good night. Good night. Anyway, we guys love you so. We we guys. We love you guys so much. So. I think it sounds a bit bad because you're slurring your words. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. Good night. Good night. Bye. I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> sounds like a, a wild animal.